Hello everyone and welcome to the Essential Guide to UI Engineering, a series of courses focused on teaching you the art and science of UI Engineering. This is part one where we will focus on the core fundamentals and underpinnings of all UI platforms of today. This course is divided into four major topics, the event loop, retained versus immediate mode, events, and finally the display pipeline. In the lesson on event loop, we'll focus on the single threaded nature of a UI and explain why that is the case. We'll then focus on the most important construct, the event loop, the primary workhorse of a UI. We'll see how it guarantees the order of execution through a data structure called the message queue. We'll see how the messages are processed and what it means to really handle a message. Now you can get the best performance out of a UI only when the event loop executes at 60 frames per second. And we'll see why that is the case. The event loop is really the beating heart of a UI. And all good things come straight from the heart, doesn't it? In the next lesson, we'll focus on rendering, one of the two main operations of any UI. And it turns out there are only two ways of rendering a UI, retained or an immediate mode. Now the retained mode is definitely the most popular way. And a lot of the UI platforms of today have adopted this as the primary API. And there's a good reason for that. Simple and clear API is what we all want. And the retained mode is definitely a way to get there. Now that doesn't mean that's the only way of creating a UI. The immediate mode is yet another option, which is really useful when you're creating that high performance UI without sucking up all of your memory. Both of these modes have their place. And we'll see when you should use one over the other by doing a direct comparison between these two modes. Handling events is also an important operation of the UI. And in this lesson, we'll take a look at how input events propagate from the hardware all the way up to the application. Turns out the way you render a UI also has a bearing on how these events propagate, depending on whether it's retained mode or an immediate mode UI. We'll also dig a little deeper into this concept of event handling and look at what really happens when you handle events at runtime. It's really interesting to see how the event loop, the callback, and the call stack all come together to handle a single event. And finally, the last topic we'll cover is the display pipeline, the process that takes your textual description of a UI and translate it to show pixels on the screen. There are lots of little activities happening inside, but they all can be grouped into three major areas, the layout, painting, and compositing. And we'll see how each of these stages come together to finally render pixels on the screen. We'll be diving deep into each of layout, painting, and compositing, and explore all the fascinating details of how each of these stages work. It can be quite staggering to see the complexity that is being handled by the display pipeline. You'll probably come to appreciate the raw power that you hold in your hand or the screen that you see in front of you. All of that complexity that you see and learn in this course is nicely tucked away as you only see the rendered pixels on the screen. This is a fascinating journey for a UI as it starts its life in a simple textual description and moving up through all the stages and finally lighting up the millions of pixels on your screen. So join me as we take a look under the hood in this first part of the essential guide to UI engineering.